Donald Trump is continuing his brutal assault against plumbing and water consumption and appliances. The latest is during a rant last night in Milwaukee. This is weird. Donald Trump ranting about dishwashers uh, that he clearly does not understand. I'm going to play the clip and there's a few funny things here. First, Trump is again framing everything as liberals don't want you to have working appliances. We're working to get you good appliances. The second funny thing is Trump clearly has no idea how dishwashers work. I'd be shocked if he ever operated one in his life. And number three is his crowds are so clueless and so willing to be led around by Trump like they're on a leash that you've even got like teenagers in the audience cheering about dishwashers. Can you imagine being 14 and going crazy because Trump will allow you to buy certain dishwashers that he claims liberals don't want you to have? Take a look at this bizarre clip. But I'm also approving new dishwashers that give you more water so you can actually wash and rinse your dishes without having to do it 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would bet money Trump has no clue how a dishwasher works, but the whole underlying idea again is liberals want to restrict how much water you can use. And Trump wants to let you use all the water you want or something like that. Trump's obsession with plumbing is getting really weird. Remember Donald Trump's rant about flushing toilets 10 to 15 times. We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where uh, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it. And you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. They take a shower and water comes dripping out. It's dripping out, very quietly dripping out. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. So EPA is looking at that very strongly at my suggestion. Uh, you go into a new building or a new house or a new home and they have standards on where you don't get water. You can't you can't wash your hands practically. There's so little water comes out of the faucet. Donald Trump, the president most obsessed with plumbing, probably in the history of the United States during the plumbing era, during the era where internal plumbing exists in households. It's all so bizarre and disjointed, and it is comical to a degree, except that he's impeached. He's wreaking havoc internationally. He's the laughing stock of the world, as we uh, played clips for you earlier today. He's effectively uh, uh, employing destructive trade policy while extorting foreign countries to help him smear his possible opponent in order to bolster his reelection chances. If it was only that the guys whacked out about plumbing and water, That'd be one thing. But the water wackiness is happening in addition to all of these other serious fiascos, scandals and embarrassments. And it just has to end. I mean, we're, we're getting to the end. Are we going to have just another year of this almost to the day, a year and a week of this before we inaugurate someone else? Or are we giving this guy an additional four years? I'm scared that it's the latter. I'm hopeful that it's the former, but we've got to work together to make it happen.